What's up guys, Epic Off-Road here with another video. Um, yes, again, we're gonna talk about Chinese bikes. This time we're gonna talk about pit bikes just a little bit. Okay, so I've actually been wanting to make a video about this for ever since I got it. So it's been about three months. Um, I'm gonna kind of give you a look here. Um, I picked up a Pitster Pro. I showed you guys last video. Um, I told you I wanted to do a video about this. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the Pister Pro. Firstly, um, kind of an intermediate between most of the Chinese bikes you find, the Coolster, um, the Tao Tao, you know, those kind of bikes, and your Japanese main, uh, main brand name bikes. Um, Pister Pro is well built. Um, it is just a, an awesome bike. Um, I actually bought this for myself. Um, kind of funny, 275 pounds, and I bought an FSC 110. Um, it's set up pretty well. Um, I, I'm a little bit heavy for it, um, and, I, and I actually can tell that when I ride it. Um, when I bought it, they told me I should actually upgrade the spring um, just because of my weight, but fully adjustable suspension on this thing, which just blows my mind, okay? So, the Pister Pro, yes, it's a Chinese-made bike. Um, you know, it seems to have a lot of well-built parts. Um, the, the dealer that I bought it from actually gave me a Makuni carb. Um, these don't come with Makuni carbs. Um, they run pretty good without the Makuni. It's a lot smaller of a carb, um, the one that it comes with, um, but they they went ahead and upgraded me to Makuni Carb. They said they had a lot of a lot of um, good feedback with the Makuni Carb with the upgraded carb itself, um, and so I threw that on there. But I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about the bike. Okay, so um, it's a four gear transmission, all up, all four gears are up. Um, it's got the open air filter on the side. Um, I've been wanting to get a pre-filter bag for it just to keep it nice and clean. Um, it comes in a box, so you actually have to build it, okay? So they, they actually will build it for you if you pick it up locally. I bought it in Linden, Utah. Um, I live in Utah. Um, at USA Motor Toys, they, they actually is where, is where I picked it up. Uh, they're not sponsoring this video at all, but um, they are awesome to work with. Great people. Um, great to work with. I bought this in hopes that I could actually give it to my son. Um, he's riding the uh, 50cc um, United Motors, which is the other one I showed you last video. Um, but this one here is quite a bit bigger than what I expected out of the you know out of the box. When I started looking at these, I was trying to figure out you know I wanted a pit bike so I could just kind of just mess around with my kids, get out you know kind of outside and. And I didn't need anything fast because my kids aren't um, super uh, um, technical. You know, they don't have a lot of experience on dirt bikes. So I didn't want anything super fast. Um, and so I bought the 110 FSC or the FSC 110 um, thinking, okay, you know what? I could ride this for like a year and then give it to my son. It technically is a pit bike. Um, it actually has a, it, it seems to have a little bit bigger frame than, than say like the KLX 110 L. Um, I sat on one of those. I thought about buying one of those. Um, it's got a little bit bigger frame. It seems to me about the same seat height, about the exact same seat height. The seat is a lot narrower on this bike. Um, so if you've got a big butt like me, you, you're, you, you know, it is pretty skinny. So it's not the most comfortable seat, but being a pit bike, being a small bike, you're not going to be out and about going crazy. Um, for five, six hour rides. And maybe you will. And I think it probably would handle it. Um, but I've been super impressed with this bike. So I want to show you a few things. Um, so it comes with dual disc brakes. So you got front disc, you got rear disc brakes. Um, like I said, I got upgraded to the Makuni carb. Let's see if I can point to it. I got upgraded there to the Makuni carb. Um, and, and they actually did that. Um, I don't know if any other dealers do, but they actually did that for me. Um, you do have to go through, um, and throw, um, Loctite 
have to go through and throw Loctite on a lot of the uh, um, the bolts when you put it together. Um, but it comes pretty much built. It's probably 75, 80% built already when you buy it. So it's not, it's not crazy. Like you don't have to be super technical putting it together. Um, like I said, it has the adjustable suspension. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, there's got a, it's a lot of adjustment. It's got adjustable forks on the top there. Um, it's a, an electric start, kick start. And let me tell you, this thing sounds amazing. This thing is awesome. Like I said last video, it sounds like a 250 four stroke. Um, it's just got a really good low grunt sound to it. Like I said, I'm, I'm a big guy, 270 pounds. Um, and, and when I get on this thing and I take off with my kids, this thing will pull me up hills. I mean, we went hill climbing just the other day. I mean, obviously I gotta be in, in second gear. I can't really get up to third gear. I can't go crazy. Um, but it's got a ton of pull down low. Um, and it, and it just really is just super impressive. I got, I got another buddy that jumped on it. He's like six, two and he's about 250 pounds and he's got a small track around his house. Um, I'll probably take some video there and we'll throw that up on the page. Um, just to show you guys, you know, kind of a little bit of riding and whatnot. Um, but, but just super impressed with this thing. Um, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to show you what it looks like with me on it. Um, Give you an idea. Like I said, I'm I'm about five nine five ten. Um, I'm two hundred and seventy pounds, and and honestly, like, if I was a little bit lighter, you know, it would be it would really be the perfect bike for for me just to run around with my kids. Um, it does struggle maybe a little bit just because I'm so heavy. Um, so that, that, you know, that is what it is, but, um, yeah, it's just a super good bike. You know, the graphics are awesome. The plastics are well-made. Um, it's the KTM is based on the KTM. Uh, I think the 65 SX KTM, um, I think it's based off that. And so, um, you got, you can buy those plastics off the 65. Um, the welds are great. Like the welds are amazing. I've gone through, I looked at, um, the whole frame, I looked at the frame, I looked it through, I looked at all the welds, um, I put Loctite on all the nuts, um, and I just really went over it with a fine tooth comb. It took me literally about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour tops to throw this guy together. Okay. So really wasn't that hard to put together. It really wasn't. Um, it's got the oversized foot pegs. So for people with big feet or riding boots, perfect. This thing is awesome. Um, my only complaints, I don't necessarily love it's a, it's the semi auto. So there's no clutch. Um, I know that's great for kids. I don't necessarily love that being an adult, a rider and whatnot. Um, electric start works flawlessly, which is awesome. Uh, my son can kick it over. My eight year old can kick it over. It really isn't that hard to kick over. It's super easy. Um, since I put the upgraded Makuni carb on it, runs great. It act, it runs amazing. Um, my son doesn't ride it a whole lot just for the fact that you know he's still pretty small for it or pretty tall. It's still pretty tall for him. So um, if you're looking into this, they're about 29 inches tall. Um, with the shock fully hardened, um, if you soften up the shock, it drops it a little bit. Um, the back suspension, I mean, um, it, you know, it's about that 20, just over 29 inches tall. So it's about the exact same height as your KLX 110 L, um, your little bit bigger version of the KLX. Um, but like I said, I, I just feel like great quality, um, you got the breakaway clutch lever, or the breakaway brake lever. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, super impressed with this bike. I'm actually thinking I'll probably buy at least one more. I'm looking at the fat wheel, the fat tire. Um, it's about three inches taller. 
and uh, it'll be perfect when the snow comes and whatnot. But yeah, this exhaust, the GPX exhaust, um, I believe it's a race performance exhaust, but it's just sounds super throaty. Um, it sounds amazing. Um, this does come with um, something the KLX does not come with is the the grab handle in the back or or what I would you call it the frame. So if you're if you're needing to pick it up, lift it, move it, um, it actually has the frame extension all the way out here past the back fender. So that that's perfect. That's awesome. Um, Tires are awesome. They've done really well. I've done a lot of riding on the asphalt with my kids. Um, like I said, I've had it for about three months. Um, we've ridden probably two to three times a week. Um, so I've put a little bit of time into it. And uh, tires have held up really well, surprisingly. These are the stock tires that come with it. Um, the wheels, black wheels. It's a little bit dirty right now. I should probably clean it. But black wheels which is super cool, looks upgraded, looks really nice. You know, everyone tries to jump to those the black wheels eventually. Um, so that's super cool and that looks really nice. Um, uh, the chain, um, it, it's stretched a little bit, hasn't done too much stretching, but like I said, when you're a big guy, the, the chain tends to stretch just a little bit. I mean, it's gonna obviously stretch. I had to tighten it up a little bit, um, you know, to get it kind of where I needed it so I didn't break it if I went over a jump. Um, the fuel line, the fuel line's crap, okay? So on this, the fuel line's crap. Um, you're gonna wanna replace it. This is the stock fuel line. See, it's leaking right now. I've, I've fixed it multiple times. Um, it is leaking right now, and uh, you're gonna need to buy some aftermarket, or some better fuel line. Um, I've got some blue stuff I'm gonna put on there. Um, there's the Makuni carb. That thing's awesome. It's been, it's been great. Um, the brakes are amazing. You know, these disc brakes are amazing. Um, they've done really well for me, but all in all, just a super cool bike. Um, super impressed. Like I said, I know I keep saying that, but I paid, um, after tax out the door title, everything 1425. Um, that's kind of the local price. So when I talked to them, they gave, you know, when they, when I bought it from them, uh, they said, you know what, this is the local price. Uh, I paid $14.25 out the door. Um, I could have paid a hundred dollars more. They would have assembled it for me, but I wanted to do it myself and I would have made a video. I'll probably buy another one and I'll run a video of that, um, and put that up on the channel so you guys can, you can kind of see what we go through or what we put, how we put it together. Um, but like I said, it didn't take that long to put together. It's, it really doesn't. Um, just, just like I said, super impressed with the bike. Um, it is really narrow. Um, I have had a couple things that I'm, I'm not too happy with. Um, I don't know what the issue is and I'm kind of looking at this. I'm going to send them an email, but the gas cap, so if you look down the, the, the bike itself, um, look straight down the bike, the gas cap is actually off to the side, which is not a huge deal. But when I filled it with gas, I went over a jump and I had gas leaking out of both sides of the gas cap. So I don't know if I've got to get a different washer or what I need to do to put around the gas cap to seal that. Um, but I'm going to have to do something there. But uh yeah, all in all, great bike. We'll do some more updates on this. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna start it up, let you guys listen to it, see what you think about it. Um, video doesn't do it justice. You have to hear it in person. The video doesn't do it justice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start that up, and I'll throw that on here too. So, hey, thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe. We're gonna do a bunch more stuff. Um, like I said, we're going to do a ton of Pitster Pro stuff. I want to get another one so we can put it together because um, they're super fun. Um, and I've got some things that I want to show you guys as far as jumping into something else and, and, and super exciting as well. So we'll catch you later.